What's going on everybody? Welcome to my first Star Citizen video ever. So I know this might be a bit of a shock to you, some of you guys, but I'm finally jumping on the Star Citizen bandwagon. Now it's been a little while. I've been really keeping my eye on this game for quite some time. And uh, I think it's finally getting to the point over all of these years the bathroom <laughs> out of all these years where it's actually worth jumping into right now and doing some stuff because um with the patch 3.3.7 it's introduced a lot to the game and not only is the giant city of Lorville on Hurston the planet Hurston uh, available but you have all sorts of these missions that are Still a little buggy, but not nearly as buggy as they have been in the past. You can actually complete delivery missions now. You can fight pirates. You can even fight AI. Space scavengers in the world with certain missions. And, uh, you know, we got lots of customization options for your character, depending on what space station that you go to. You can really choose your path. Right now, you, you pretty much have three primary paths at the moment. You can be... Somebody that delivers cargo from one space station to another. You can be a pirate. Somebody that purposely goes out there killing Crusader security, disrupting communication systems, uh, killing other players, and also smuggling and transporting drugs like Widow and Antitoxins on secret drug labs. Uh, you can, like I mentioned before, you can shoot and engage with AI scavengers or AI, um, I guess. I'm just going to call them scavengers just because it's a useful term in security outpost um, that's on the map. And you can also, you know, whenever you, you can just randomly PvP of other players and other ships, either in space or even on the ground with weapons. Where when you die, you have to go back to the space center and call back your ship and... You know, it's not permadeath, but it is at least annoying. This game is coming along. I'm not going to defend it. I know this game has a bit of controversy behind it, especially when it comes to some of the prices surrounding the ships. Um, but it just grabs me, you know, just the atmosphere, the environment. I love space. I love space games. And, you know, I have played other games in the past, like Elite Dangerous. Um, and, I, you know, I don't really stream too much space games but I do I am a big fan of it I do play a lot of them but lately I have been streaming a lot of Star Citizen and you guys on the stream at least have been really enjoying it and I have been too and it's been a lot of fun it's, it's Escape for Tarkov for those that may watch my channel on a regular basis you guys know I'm, I'm primarily an Escape for Tarkov streamer and you know that that game is really fun but it also has these long periods of time where there's not a whole lot to do and it gets a little repetitive because we're waiting, just like a lot of you Star Citizen fans are waiting. We are also waiting for content updates on a regular basis. So, Star Citizen, although it's got a long way to go, I think now's the time to jump in and get involved. If you already own the game and you've been waiting for years for it to get to a point where it's at a playable state for where you can at least do something. So... Yeah, anyway, so I'm just going to jump in, guys. We're going to do some missions, and we're going to make some money. So, first off, we are in the city of Hurston, which is on... Well, we're in the city of Lorville on the planet Hurston. So, what I need to do is I got to go to the spaceport. So, I got to go to the spaceport line, and I got to pick up our spaceship, which is currently a Cutlass Black. I have two spaceships. I got a Gladius, which is... A light fighter, a really kick-ass light fighter. This is another player right there. Boom. And even, you know, wave to him. It's like World of Warcraft commands, you know. Oh, I think that's another dude right there as well. That yeah, is totally is. So as you can see, when you're in the environment, one thing I really like about Star Citizen is it doesn't have an obnoxious name tag over the people. The people and the AI are intermixed with each other. In fact, actually, I think I believe that is actually just an AI. So it's kind of cool. Like, of course, you can tell that that guy is a human and he's moving like a human. But you know, they're just we're just a part of the world. You're not taken out of it. And there's no giant icon while you're in the city that really pinpoint. Oh, this is a person, and this is an AI. 
When you get into space, however, the heat signatures with your radar does show um, ship locations, but it doesn't differentiate you from other AI as well. So you're very much a part of this world and the players uh, are not, you know, separate from the AI, which is something I really like. And I think a lot of games have been lacking lately like Fallout 76, for example, and even Red Dead Redemption Online, having the location of every single player on the map with their name tag above their head, I find really takes really takes you out of the environment a little bit. So, although this game is not perfect, I'm not saying this game is better than those. I'm saying these guys, they kind of know what they're doing when it comes to making a space sim game. The, the biggest comparison that I can make to Star Citizen right now, for those that are wondering how it actually plays, is actually, believe it or not, Arma Life in the current state of the game. So, Arma Life, it's very much like collecting resources and delivering resources and making money and using that money to buy new cars, new weapons, join gangs, fight other players. There's, you know, cops that are hunting other people down. There's bounties. So the same thing, thing could be said for Star Citizen. You have a drug lab, so you can smuggle drugs. There are locations where you can collect and sell resources from outpost to outpost. Uh, there are missions for pirates. There are missions for bounty hunters, delivery missions, maintenance missions, all sorts of things. Again, like I said, the missions can sometimes be buggy, but they can also be unique and hilarious. Like I had a mission the other day where I had to go clean up a dead body and dispose of it by venting it out into space. Now, the dead body was conveniently packed up into boxes, and I had to throw the boxes out of my spaceship. But you get the idea. I mean, there's at least, there's trying to be a little bit of diversity with some of the pirate now missions, arriving. even though they are very repetitive and similar. It's not as it was a few months ago at this game. Now, because I'm wearing the space helmet, it does kind of limit my field of view a little bit. That's all right. So we're going to go over to the spaceport. So let's make that happen. Got to pick up our ship. Now, Orville is probably the most complex base station. That and Levski, I think. Just because most other space stations doesn't require you to take this elaborate tram system to get to your spaceship. Uh, a lot of them are just, you know, outposts out in space or on different moons that surround planets. But Lorville is really cool. So we're gonna, our, our Gladius is stored, but we're not gonna retrieve that. We're gonna retrieve our Cutlass because we need to go across the gal or the across the solar system. So, yeah, I mean, it's not like there's not a whole lot of there's no fast travel in a way, in a sense. There's quantum travel, but you're very much in the world. You can't just teleport to your spaceship. You have to call your spaceship to the landing pad, get into the elevator, go down to the landing pad, climb in, take off. So everything is cemented in the world. That's I think that's probably if if Star Citizen had a mission statement I believe that would be it. They're, they're never going to try to really take you out of the world. If they can avoid that, then they will. The only loading screen is whenever you die or you're loading in. This is our Drake Cutlass. This is a spaceship here. Um, this is a interplanetary craft that does have a number of weapons. We got some missiles. We got some energy lasers. We have some uh, uh, gimbaled ballistic weapons. Actually, I don't think they're gimbaled, but we have ballistic weapons. We even have a turret that is on top of the spaceship that a person can use and a co-pilot ship. So we can get three other players comfortably inside the ship. One person uses the turret, co-pilot, and then myself. Kind of nice. So we want to take off here, but before we do, I want to make sure we're going to a long way to travel so i'm going to restock on some of our supplies and then we're going to talk to the landing services here we're going to let them know that hey our intention is to leave you are cleared for lift off. all right and that is going to open up the bay that is directly overhead which is pretty cool as you can see you can you can notice the heat signature 
of another ship. Now, that's probably a player, but that is not unique to players. So AI also have a similar triangle when they're flying their ship. There are stealth ships and how stealth works. I'm still a little confused about, but there is stealth mechanics in the game if you're into that sort of thing. So we want to fly out of here, get our landing gear up. Now, because this is a city, as you can see, there Please is restricted areas. Remember, if you're contemplating a career we... change, you should contact one of Hurston's resource managers for information right. about exciting career opportunities. All right, thanks for the advertisement, dude. I'm good. Exciting career opportunities. So I don't want to fly into the city because it's restricted and we can explode. So my goal here is to get altitude and leave Orville. But I'll give you guys a nice little look of the city, which is pretty intense. This is this reminds me of like a futuristic Martian city. Like ev like everyone kind of landed in one area and it slowly expanded over time. Cuz it's not, you know, this 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 planet isn't populated. It's this is pretty much the most populated spot in the entire planet. So, we want to get to outer space. So, we are going to get our thrusters going. Now, because there is atmosphere, i got to be careful of overheating my engines. But, uh, I'm trying to aim straight up into the air. So we can bust out of here. There is the spaceport, and then you have the rest of the city. Now, uh, not the entire city is explorable. I don't know if they will make it. Where you can go everywhere, and, like, every single section will have a purpose. But... You can see the metro lines, and the metro lines, if you, you can actually walk into the city though, you don't have to fly directly into the center of it. There is multiple gates that surround the city, and you can see the metro lines that go to the outskirts to the city, to the gates. So you can go to those gates, jump on the metros, and go from destination to destination if you wish. So now our main objective is to just get out there so we can start jumping across the star system to the planet or the gas giant Crusader. And Crusader is where a lot of the missions are right now because there's a lot of moons that are surrounding Crusader. There's a lot of work to do out there, including a lot of work for pirates. Because there's a pirate base called Grimhex and we can do jobs for them. Pretty fun. So that's my main role at the moment. Of course, you know, being a pirate is always an interesting thing. I mean, right now, your mechanics are limited. You're not able to, like, kill other players and steal their cargo yet. But you are able to do uh, pirate missions to work for them. And there is there is AI missions where you can blow people up and steal their loot. So all these things will be expanded over time. Oh, yeah, I can show you guys some of the guns. So we got the energy, we got the, the cannons. Ballistic cannons. Got our energy. And then the rockets. The rockets require you to lock on target. So I can't really show those off. So, the next step for us, we're going to open up our star map here. We want to go across the star system, the solar system. Sorry. Yep. Solar system. And we're going to set our route to Crusader. We're going to jump over. Now, this is going to take a lot of time. So, with the magic of YouTube, it's all good. We'll cut it out. Quantum drive is now on. This is one of the longest leaps in the game that you really have to do. So, if you're in a smaller ship, this can take about 10 minutes. Um, but since we're in a cutlass, it's probably only going to take about 7 minutes. It's still going to take some time, though. And during this time, if you want, you can get out of the driver's seat, stretch your legs. You know, you can go and... Take a nap. Talk to other people. Select your missions. Do what you need to do. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah. So, we'll be back when we get close to Crusader. Alright, so we have quantum traveled for a few minutes now. We can start to see Crusader off in the distance. So. Like I said, this is probably the longest jump that you'll ever have to really do in Star Citizen in 3.3.7. And if you do have a smaller ship, it will take a little bit longer. But there's a reason why I just don't go out to Hurston unless I absolutely have to. 
In this case, I was out there specifically for a high-paying pirate mission to deliver a package uh, for somebody at Grimhex. So, before we do anything, I do want to go to a space station because the way death works in Star Citizen is whenever you explode, you will go to the last base that you docked in. So, for this instance, we're going to go to my favorite place in the star system. And because we are kind of filling that pirate role a little bit, Grimhex. So, Grimhex is a cartel pirate hub where scumbags like to hang out. So that's a perfect spot for this character. Drive is now, on. now the more crimes we commit, there is a crime stat, a wanted level. And at the maximum crime stat, other players can take a paid bounty mission to come and hunt you down. So if you are a big scumbag, either towards the Quantum security drive. AI or even to other players, other people can be paid to come and kill you. So we want to go to the moon of Yella. That's where all the criminal action happens. That's where the drug lab is. Where Grimhex is. Where the party is. Alright. Welcome to the moon of Yella. And there is Grimhex. So we want to go here, head to Grimhex, and then we'll take a look at our mission log once we land so we can take a look and see what we want to do. Um, I would go and head to the drug lab, pick up a shipment of drugs or illegal substances, and then sell them and make some money. I'll wait for another video to do that because it seems like there's a hammerhead ship, according to the guys that are talking in the top left, that is currently chilling there, and we cannot take that out, or at least... It'd be very difficult for us to do so. A hammerhead is a very expensive ship, and it is a very massive ship with a lot of firepower. And, you know, if we die with our cargo, we lose a lot of money. So we definitely don't want to be doing it. So Grimhex is this habitation area inside these uh, asteroids that has been taken over by pirates. Hello, and welcome to Grimhex. All right, so we'll open up our comms channel. We'll talk to them. And let's go fly down. Now there is an auto land. I, I don't use it too much, but whenever you're inside of the green cube, you can just hold the N key to do an auto land. Let's see if it works. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I find it just doesn't work. Do there we go. Did it this time. We've got an automated landing. I find Grimhex is a cyberpunk feel. I dig this Landing place. Complete. Landing complete. Have a business to say. Make sure you always close your ship when you're here, because other players, if you don't close it, you can just jump in the pilot seat and fly away. Grand Theft Spaceship. Especially here. I was observing some other players in this area yesterday. And they were hiding behind some boxes. They would wait for players to land their ship and see if they left it unlocked. You can guess what happened if they didn't unlock or they left their ship unlocked. They just hoovered the ship and went for a joy ride. We want to head to the airlock. Now, because I've landed here, I don't actually need to go inside of the space station. But well, we might as well take a look. Okay. More elevators. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now you can upgrade your weapons. There's a small selection of actual weapons. You got some pistols, a ballistic pistol. You have an energy pistol. Uh, you have energy rifles, ballistic rifles, and some sniper rifles. But again, there's only one AI mission in the game at the moment. 
but you also you can kill other players but the situations where you'll actually engage with other players in a ground battle is very limited um so this is the administrative office if you have illegal substances that you want to sell to grim hex you would do that in here the administrative office And I'll take you to where you can upgrade some of your equipment. If you are into it, if you want to make yourself look like a space pirate. There you go. So this is where you can buy outfits like mine, if you wish. And there's some weapons on display here. Um, ballistic SMGs, uh, assault rifles, you have some shotguns, some energy shotguns. The rail gun, the night stalker. I've never used that. What's this? And an L energy LMG. You can also buy things like medication, like med pens. And also oxygen pens too. This guy's inspecting some uh, equipment right here. Alright, so now that we're inside of Grim Hex and we're kind of just chilling, let's go see what kind of missions we got available. We can make a little bit of money. Perfect place to go and take a look at our mission log is chilling in the bar. So we're going to go do that. Now on Lorville, the city that we spawned in, there is an actual functioning bar where you can order whiskeys. This bar, however, is still in development and uh, unfortunately, we're unable to buy anything. There's no bartender just, but there will be eventually. Okay, so let's take a look at our mission log under our contracts, under personal. We should have some mercenary missions here. And these are a number of different things. So we can eliminate somebody, eliminate a problem. Shopping spree. So we have to go and kill somebody. Take their cargo. And drop it off somewhere. I feel like that's that's a fun mission. We can also recover some black boxes. But uh, let's go shopping spree. Good name for it. Okay. Contract accepted. It should give us the location of where this guy is. But uh, let's head over to our spaceship first. Welcome to Jump Town, this guy says. Yeah, Jump Town is, well, insane. It is basically the PvP hub right now. If you want to go fuck some people up. Objective complete. Eliminate the target. Somebody actually killed the target before we could. They're going to grab the goods. You know what? I don't like that. Launch complete. We got to get over there right now before this guy steals our cargo. This is another player. Thank you. Now, this might not happen. Quantum drive is now off. Lewis Evans. Or Lane Evans. We got anybody else in here? We got a Starfare. Well, it looks like somebody killed this guy. And didn't take the package. Maybe they were just around this area and they just were like, hey, this is a bandit. Could have been like somebody, like a bounty hunter that just... Okay. Well. Let's grab the crate. Really hoping that we could attack this guy. We, we hit the box, causing it to spiral through space. 
kind of kicked it off a little bit. All right, here it is. See if we can snag it before I moves position again. All right, got the got the goods. Want to go back into their spaceship. Place it. Close the side. And, uh... Let's get out of here. No target required to kill. Sometimes these targets, you can catch them just kind of sitting completely still. So we got a delivery drop off here. So, we are going to be delivering this item. Oh, we're going to be going to a location on the moon of Yella. Which is interesting, to drop off this crate. Quantum drive is now on. Any friendlies in Cherno? Okay, so we have the item. We're going to set our location on the moon. Quantum We're going to quantum travel, which is going to help it. It's going to speed up uh, our approach to this uh, trading outpost. Alright, so now that we're close, we'll make our final approach. Okay, we are approaching our destination. Now, these delivery drop-offs are usually in random locations on the planet. So, well, random outposts that are usually abandoned on the planet, especially for pirate missions. If you're doing legitimate missions, usually go to actual outposts. But in these cases, they're usually abandoned. So, and these moons are big. So there's massive PvP happening at the drug lab on this moon. But there won't be the same happening here. So, but you never really know. You gotta keep your eyes open just in case. And there is a lot of shoot on sight that happens in Star Citizen right now. So getting into spaceship and spaceship PvP is actually quite common, more common than you think. And Sometimes, especially if you have a cargo full of really valuable supplies and you think someone's being sketchy and you might be able to get the upper hand on them, it might be better to just blow them up. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Look, look at that. Look at that outpost. It's just hidden right on the cliff there. Okay, I'm going to use our... Uh Impact warning, okay. Let me see here, this is kind of an awkward spot to land. Rear impact warning. Starboard impact warning. Alright, it's a little awkward, but it's fine. Power down. Weapons offline. We'll get out. Grab our box. And deliver the package. And different moons do have different gravities, so... Different locations, you can jump and maneuver in different ways. Yeah, this outpost has been long abandoned. Alright, so we want to plant our box somewhere in here for them to pick it up. 
essentially. And that should be the mission. Objective complete, delivering the goods. And contract complete, shopping spree. So we completed our mission. Should get paid a thousand AUEC. And friends, that's going to be it for today's video. So I hope this is a good introduction to our adventures in Star Citizen. If you enjoyed it, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next one for some more Star Citizen. There will be combat. We'll be fighting some spaceships and some AI as well as other players very soon. I thought this video was a good idea to just kind of get you guys the idea of what this game is all about, what it looks like, how to maneuver around the solar system, and then uh, how to do some basic missions. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and thanks again for watching.